Okay. Let me now explain the effects of changes in demand on equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. So, I have taken price in the y axis quantity in the x axis and since we are considering only the effect of changes in demand supply remaining unchanged so the supply curve ss remains the same only the demand curve changes that means either shifts to the right as indicated by this arrow or shifts to the left as indicated by this leftward arrow so let d0 d0 be the initial demand curve so the initial equilibrium that is the point of intersection between the supply curve and demand curve is e0 and the initial equilibrium quantity is q q0 and equilibrium price is p0 now suppose demand increases due to some reason say income of the consumer increases so demand increases means there will be a right for shift of the demand curve to d1 d1 so the new equilibrium be careful the new equilibrium will be the point of intersection of the new demand curve and the initial supply curve so the new equilibrium is e1 equilibrium quantity is q1 or i can give here origin o so o q1 and the new equilibrium price is o p1 that means equilibrium price has increased from p0 to p1 and initial equilibrium quantity has increased from q0 and the new equilibrium quantity is q1 so we see that increase in demand increases equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity now suppose demand decreases this will lead to a leftward shift of the demand curve from d0 d0 to d2 d2 so the new equilibrium point will be e2 the new equilibrium quantity is q2 and the new equilibrium price is p2 so you see equilibrium price has fallen from p0 to p2 and equilibrium quantity has also fallen from q0 to q2 so see this is fallen and here it has increased as indicated by the arrow similarly we can consider the situation when we will take only supply to change but demand will remain unchanged so the demand curve will remain unchanged say dd initial supply curve is say s0 s0 and the initial equilibrium point is e0 initial equilibrium quantity is q0 and initial price is p0 now suppose supply increases so the supply curve shifts to the right to s1 s1 supply increases say technology improves so supply will increase and the supply curve will shift to the right so the new equilibrium point of intersection of the new supply curve s1 s1 and the original demand curve dd so the new equilibrium is e1 new equilibrium quantity q1 and the new equilibrium price is p1 so equilibrium price falls and equilibrium quantity increases from q0 to q1 similarly now suppose price of the inputs increases so cost of production will increase and supply will fall so supply curve shifts to the left new supply curve say s2 s2 new equilibrium point e2 so equilibrium quantity now falls to q2 but equilibrium price increases to p2 so you see increase in supply increases equilibrium quantity but reduces price whereas decrease in supply increases price but reduces equilibrium quantity so you have to remember this this point is very important that increase in demand increases both equilibrium price and quantity but increase in supply increases equilibrium quantity but reduces price 
so equilibrium quantity increases in both the situation either when demand increases or when supply increases so this is how the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity is affected when either demand changes supply remaining constant or when supply changes demand remaining constant